who recently retired from IT. And I'm still, one of my first goals is to work off the generosity of Elizabeth. She knew I, uh, I like to eat from stress, and I was always stressed, so I'd always go to Elizabeth, and she would always round up something for me for the afternoon munchies. I even tried that seaweed, even though it wasn't. <laughs> if there's one other word I could add up there, it would be humble. Uh, Elizabeth was the most talented, but the most humble of her talents. When um, I, I was scheming for many years to hire away from Doug, but um, when we finally had a position that she was interviewing for, for the data analyst, um, she spent most of the interview trying to talk us out of hiring her. <laughs> she wasn't really good enough. She, she maybe wasn't the right fit. And I said, Elizabeth, there's nothing you're going to say to stop us from making a decision. It's just a formality here. But she always striving. She was there late every night. Um, I would always say, leave Elizabeth, leave. And she said, oh, just one more thing, one more thing to do. Um, and she could never do enough. And she even tried to um, apply for our help desk positions. And I said, what do you mean help desk? And answering a thousand phone calls and a thousand emails a day is not enough for you? And she said, I need to help more. Uh, I've never seen, I said, you're, you're helping more than pretty much anybody else I know. <laughs> and overdoing it. And um, quite the overachiever. I know she was proud of all of you. And from what she said of some of your uh, escapades, I would say you were overachievers like she was. And um, all I can think of is that Elizabeth has probably done more in her short lifetime than many people do, living much longer. And uh, I'm thinking that her soul was just an overachiever and she'd finished her life lessons and uh, she's on to her new adventure. So um, part of me wants to celebrate because she was the overachiever and she's always looking for a new challenge. And I hope that her memories and how much she meant to us will comfort you guys.